Okay, now we have inserted a record, we have updated a record, and now it's time to delete the record. Now deletion happens in MongoDB and especially with the Go or with any other language, if you do want to do deletion in the MongoDB, they happens always in the same way. There are two ways. One, we want to delete a very specific record and other is we want to delete all the records. Now in the MongoDB, both of these operations happens based on the filter. You need to provide a filter that based on this, go ahead and delete all the records. And if you want to delete just one record, just provide that particular thing so that it can match just one value. If you want to provide and want to delete all of that, just provide an empty set. Empty means just everything. So that's how it works. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through that how you can create a methods for deleting one uh, movie up here, as well as deleting all the records that we have. So let's go ahead and work on with that. We can actually minimize this one and work on with that. So first one is going to be delete one record and then we're gonna work on with eventually uh, deleting multiple records or all the records. So we're gonna say that, hey, uh, in this one, I want to say delete one movie. And in this case also, you need to go ahead and grab a movie. So let's go ahead and say movie ID, of course, not the entire movie. So there we go. So how this is going to work, exactly same like we did in the past one. So I told you, this is a very repetitive syntax. So we go ahead and call this one primitive and it has an object ID from hex. It takes just one parameter, which is movie ID. Will hopefully give you the ID that you can use or probably can give you some error that you can eventually work on with that. We have already worked so many times with this comma okay syntax, shouldn't be a big deal. Now moving on, we need to provide a filter based on that it can filter and then we can eventually delete. So this is going to be same, told you, repetitive syntax, bson.m or bson.d, totally up to you. Uh, majority of the time you'll be seeing people use bson.m. And again, we have to say that I'm looking for an underscore ID that will be matched for with the ID that we are giving up here. Okay, that's it. We don't have to do any uh, update operation and all of that. It just requires a filter. And let's bring up our collection. I told you we'll be passing it like anything and that's exactly what we are doing. We have a couple of operations, delete many and delete one, almost like the ORM that you are probably used to in the node or other, but this is the raw MongoDB. So we are going to have delete one. Of course, you have to provide a context. We are gonna go ahead and background. Now notice here it requires a filter and then it provides that, hey, uh, go ahead and optionally you can provide the options. We don't have any options as of now. So we're gonna go ahead and say that, hey, I will provide you this filter and that's it. That is all it takes. Now what this is going to return you back, this actually gives you a delete count back. So delete one executes a delete command and uh, hopefully they will give you some options that what it returns back. Uh, not here, you have to go through dig up in the documentation. So what it's going to give you back is the delete count or maybe can give you an error. Let's go ahead and work on with that like this. Okay, nice and easy. Now let's proceed with caution. Just like always, we're going to say if error is not equals to nil, then go ahead and log that in a fatal way. And we're gonna go ahead and provide the error. If everything goes right, we can use this delete count to print that how many values are actually being uh, deleted. Now we don't have to do uh, inserted dot insert count just like we did there. Delete count actually returns you an integer that you can work on with. So let's go ahead and say fumped dot, not like that, fp, so. We're going to say movie got deleted with delete count. Now this is this is not gonna give you an ID back. You have to work on uh, with the same ID. If you want to go ahead and say that this ID was deleted, you have to provide this ID. There is no way of handling that nicely. So we're gonna go ahead and say delete count. There we go. We have worked with the deletion of the one record. So that was really, really nice. Now, what about if we want to delete all of the values? So we're gonna say delete, if I can write that, delete all records from MongoDB. DB, okay, DB, finally. So let's go ahead and call this one as a delete all movie. Yeah, movies, but yeah, we're gonna call this one as. Now in this one, we don't need to pass on anything at all. What this actually gives, uh, we can also return some values if you don't want to print them up. Uh, we'll see that, we'll see that. Right now, let's just go ahead and see how this is going to work. Now in this case, I can go ahead and directly use my collection and say I want to use this delete many. 
Now delete many obviously use this context or background. There is no skipping of that. Now notice here it says filter and you have to provide the same filter. So this is exactly how we did. We previously said, hey, this is my filter that I want to use. But since this is a common operation you're going to see, and again, there are a couple of ways how you can actually take this one down. You can go ahead and say, hey, filter. I'm going to go ahead and provide a filter like this. And again, same bson dot d or m feel free to use anything it this is an ordered representation m is non-ordered representation so if you remember we were passing on key value pairs if you just go ahead and pass on an empty parenthesis that means hey i'm not providing you any value that means everything will be selected and that is exactly what is required up here so you can go ahead and say filter now this is a common operation so you'll see that people don't use filter like this in majority of the records that i've seen uh, in all the github and all the seniors that i worked with uh, they don't like to do this in additional value up here and i got a good lesson from my senior for using this one they said if this is the operation that you have to do this is not going to be changed too much so you shouldn't be using a variable rather it should do like this uh, i agree on that part uh, this is how it works now if you have any options go ahead and pass on that option uh, or you can leave that empty or you can pass on nil so whatever suits you this is all it got but in some cases there are other options that we can pass on we can do same thing up here as well in the filter and if you just go ahead and put up a comma you're going to see that they get they can pass on some of the options i don't have any options so i'm not gonna put that just wanted to show you that yeah both of them are okay and feel free to use any one of them okay so moving on we have now collection obviously this can give you a delete result or delete integer rather delete count would be a better name yeah but let's just call this one as delete result. That is a better syntax. Let's use an error and there we go. Now proceeding with cautious, we are going to say, hey, I want to proceed with cautious if error is not equals to nil. We're going to log this out in a fatal way that, hey, please go ahead and say error. Okay, once this is all done, this delete count, unlike here we got uh, all the delete count, since it is just the amount of numbers that are going on, this delete count is not just like that. It is more over a key value pair. And again, uh, you have to dig up into the documentation of MongoDB based on what, when you, what method you run and what it returns you back. Nobody knows that. Everybody looks in the documentation and figure that out just like that. So we're going to go ahead and say fum.print. And all I want to know is how many number of items are being deleted. So we're going to say number of movies deleted and then we're going to go ahead and use this one delete result it has a couple of properties the one we have got is delete count which is of type int 64 and uh, if in case you don't want to uh, kind of print that out you can go ahead and say hey i'm returning you an int 64 and here you can go ahead and say return you get the idea we have worked too much in detail to just discuss these kinds of uh, miniature details delete result dot delete count so you get the idea how this is uh, going to work pretty simple one so again uh, deleting one movie or deleting many movie they work kind of exactly same i'm going to minimize this one and this one now the problematic stuff or not problematic but a little bit more involved stuff is when you want to find out all the records from the mongodb this is where it get involves a little bit you have to handle your cursor uh, that is a little bit involved. So let's go ahead and catch up in the next video and handle that situation. But in the next video.